Since opening in 1991, Quail Run has matured into one of the top-ranked public golf courses in Nebraska. With its tempting par fives, deceiving par threes, and fair but demanding par fours, the course carved the towering cottonwoods and nestled along the Loop River and Mormon Trail offers players a unique experience. Quail Run offers five sets of tees, so it starts out at 5,200 yards, but from the tips, it's 7,200 yards, and the layout is a quality test of ability and course management for even the most accomplished player. The Quail Run Golf Course is open to the public with very accessible tee time policy of seven days in advance. Hole number one at Quail Run is a par four dog leg left. A drive to the bottom of the dog leg is optimal and will leave you with a short to mid iron into this two tiered green. Hitting this fairway is key to getting around started off right. After an impressive drive, birdie is possible. Hole number two. This longish par four is protected by a water hazard down the right side of the fairway. A straight drive down this fairway will leave you with a mid to long iron approach shot into a receptive green, which is protected by pot bunkers short right and a water hazard to the left. Walk off this hole with a par and you will feel good about yourself. Hole number three at Quail Run, a straightaway par four with out of bounds down the right side. A large fairway bunker also down the right side really narrows the landing area. Putting your tee shot in the fairway is a must. The approach shot here will be played with a variety of clubs depending on how much risk you have taken from the tee shot. The green on this hole is slightly elevated and quite undulated. Walk off here with a birdie or a par and you will feel great. Hole number four at Quail Run is a long and challenging par three with water to the left off the tee and out of bounds to the right. The green for this hole is large and undulating with some difficult pin positions. Walk off here with the three and run to the next tee. Hole number five at Quail Run is a long par five. The tee shot is quite challenging with out of bounds to the right and water to the left that seems to catch most errant tee shots. Favor the left side of this fairway off the tee for a better angle to lay up for the third shot. This will leave you a short iron into the green, giving you a great chance at birdie. The green is challenging, but putts are makeable. Hole number six at Quail Run is a sharp dog leg left carved through large cottonwoods. The goal with this tee shot is to land around the 150 yard marker. Your approach shot on this hole should be played with a short to mid iron into a small undulating green. Watch out as there are a few sucker pins on this green and a shot to the middle of the green is always a good play. Hole number seven at Quail Run is a long and challenging par five. You want to favor the right side of this large fairway for the best angle to lay up. Position your second shot to leave a good number for your third as accuracy is key to a makeable birdie putt. The green is protected by elevation and a large bunker. Hit three good shots and have a great chance for a birdie. Hole number eight at Quail Run is a difficult par three with most players using a mid iron into this undulated green. The green is also protected by a large bunker which catches errant shots hit to the right. Club selection is gonna be key. Hole number nine at Quail Run is a short straightaway par four that requires a layup. For best results, you should leave your tee shot 150 to 170 yards out from the green. This receptive green slopes severely from back to front. Try and avoid the green side bunker on the right. Be careful as shots going long left will have a chance of going out of bounds. The clubhouse is next. After a hot dog and a beverage, it's on to hole 10, a reachable par five. This slight dog leg left requires a solid tee shot, which will leave you with a long shot into the green. This second shot must be very accurate as a green side bunker on the left and water hazard on the right will catch most errant second shots trying to hit the green in two. It's never a bad idea to lay up to a good number on this hole, assuring a birdie opportunity. This hole offers the opportunity to get off to a good start on the back nine, as the finishing holes will prove to be very difficult for players of all skill levels. Hole number 11 at Quail Run is a short par three with a green side bunker guarding the left side of the green. An accurate tee shot should give you a great chance at birdie, but tough pin positions can always make that a challenge. Hole number 12 at Quail Run is a straightaway par four. A slight right to left shot off the tee will leave you with a mid to short iron into this elevated receptive green. The 
front right of the screen is guarded by a green side bunker. But two good shots here, and it will leave a nice putt at birdie. Hole number 13 is a risk reward par 5. A solid drive will leave you with a shot to reach the green in two and open you up to eagles and birdies. Miss the fairway and it's almost a certain layup short of the water, which will leave you 150 to 170 yards from the green. This large elevated green is protected by water down the left side, but be careful bailing out to the right as getting up and down on this elevated green will be sloping away from the player. Hole number 14 at Quail Run is a short par three protected by a green side bunker in front and a pot bunker off to the left side of the green. An accurate tee shot will leave you with a nice birdie opportunity as you head into the quite challenging finishing holes. Hole number 15 at Quail Run is a challenging par four that has water to the left of the landing area on the tee shot and is tree lined to the right. A solid tee shot inside the 150 yard marker will give you the best angle into the uphill two-tiered green. Walk off with a par on this hole and you'll more than likely have the honors on 16. Hole number 16 at Quail Run is a mid-range par four lined by cottonwood trees down both sides of the fairway. An accurate tee shot will leave you with a short iron into a receptive green, but any stray shots will end up in the woods, and with two green side bunkers fronting the hole, a run-up shot will be very difficult. A fairly flat green will lend itself to makeable putts. Hole number 17 at Quail Run is a beast of a par 4, measuring over 500 yards from the tips. This slight dog leg left plays to an uphill green where two good shots may not be enough for a birdie putt. Walk off with a 4 on this hole and you've picked up a shot or two on the field. The finishing hole at Quail Run is also a long par 4. The landing area here is generous, so tee it high and let it fly. The second shot is played with a short to mid iron into a large green sloping from right to left. Most shots to the right will feed to the hole. However, be careful of the pot bunkers to the right of the green. After this, it's on to the 19th hole. 